hello welcome back so we continue the stream and the video um, as we last left off we conquered this whatever this is this land here now we're going to split it up into uh, a duchy we're going to give all of these three lands down here up and going to give it to some kind of count or, or courtier or whatever so we're going for men not in prison not married uh actually i do have a son so i should give it to my son if he is not decadent this guy isn't so grand land uh shakedown of cadiz grand land uh shakedown of seville and let's find another son that is not decadent he's a homosexual you deserve land my son Lisbuna, no uh don't we have any more land down there so I'm actually not going to give him any. This guy though, I'll, I'll grant the Emirate of Seville if I have gained it. Have I gained it? Emirate of Murcia, Toledo, Granada, Beja, Aragon, Toledo, Granada, Miria, Cunca, Emirate of Murcia, Toledo, Granada, Beja. Seville, yep, Seville. Here you go, dude. Now, I'm just going to do this and wait for my, um, my, he became a gray eminence. My son became a gray eminence. So I'll marry you off somewhere with this princess of Africa. This fat bitch. Um, you'll, you, she'll be your wife. So actually, my heir should have moved to him, which is awesome because he's the strongest, uh, strongest son. And now everything is back to normal. The though not very normal, the Germanic tribes here just broke up into a thousand pieces. There's a Catholic in Holstein, for some reason, and there are still in Lincoln. There's still a Germanic religious guy, which is freaking weird. The Slavs are still strong, they've conquered all of Hungary and things are just going weird and weirder right now, in my opinion. But we'll see what's going to happen. Please, science, can I hire uh, more retinue? The special troops, one. And, uh, and heavy, right? Yep. You guys combine here. I have a bigger army. That's the point of this, just having more soldiers. Not only long standing levy, but real soldiers. Now, another son of mine, wh who is a lunatic, just came to age. I don't really think a lunatic is good to have marry anybody of a high rank, so you're just going to stay right like that. And um, how much do you hate me? 100%. So uh, I vassalized that guy, which is good because I didn't want to really fight him or anything. He's Andalusian, so I actually do like that. A lot of this land is Andalusian. Are you Andalusian? Yep. I like to be kind, so Andalusian is kind of just creeping up the Iberian Peninsula. So that's great, actually. I do have this that I can marry. And another one. I'm actually waiting for his response. Did I become stressful or thoughtful? None of those things. Am I? I'm still gaining decadence, or no? I'm actually going to lose. Start losing decadence. Can we do some observe Ramadan? Thank you, Ramadan. I call it Ramadan. Uh, yes, that time I'll go. Why the fuck not? 
sure give them my money send the invitations I'm actually now kind of aid Mubarak hate me bitch I don't have enough money I'm losing a lot of money because of my retinue for some reason oh no no it wasn't retinue apparently He did what? Who became decadent? Both of these guys became decadent. Then you both are going to be imprisoned. I'm so sorry. No slut shaming. I'm sorry, but decadence is not accepted. Do we have holy sites here? Yep, this is a holy site for us. Sunni faith, Chur Churtuba, Kortaba, Kortaba. That just was materialized and dematerialized in a second there. Did you even see that? Um, and as for conquest, we will try to conquer this. Since we have Piot, but uh, I will actually have to go to the kingdom up there. So we'll leave that for now. I'll try to take Cordoba from uh, these people. Do we have enough soldiers though? Yup, yep, yep, full retinue. Another massive war just started. Can you please, uh, can you not please? Can you please not? Why are is everyone choosing that route? That's what I'm surprised. Can't you see that there's like 1,000 soldiers in there? He's a mirage. Azam. Still just going right in the belly of the beast. Great decision, my soldiers. Now I'm kind of in a financial hole, apparently. go and fight them actually take some kind of um, I'll take this I'll do this um, uh, borrow this borrow that loan just gain better understanding of military practices or whatever and then I'm going straight for Chirtuba and I have actually a great levy 9,000 men is quite strong for this time frame right now 9,000 soldiers even though I've not conquered yet all of uh, all of the old Umiyad kingdom I've 9,000 soldiers now Wow what the hell just happened did we imprison someone oh I hold someone prisoner Who the hell is that? But anywho, so this war is practically over because of that easy prisoner we got. No, uh, as I've as I'm playing more of Muslim people, I understand that decadence just grows by itself sometimes. Over peace and for demand, and with that. The war was done. Everybody go back to sleep. Um, who are you? Chisab. Can I remove your land? Can you revoke? Master Chirtuba. My vassal will hate me though. So no to whatever. Tafalid Emirat. He did lose some people. So can I offer vassalid? No you won't accept. Offer vassalage? No, you won't accept. Can I offer vassalage? Yes, you will accept. Thank you. This guy, will you join me? No, because foreign culture, not my de jour liege and shit like that. So, as you can see, now my borders are kind of clearer. There are no empires in the middle of my lands. Which is kind of awesome right now. If he got... He'd be... He's not dead yet. 
when he inherits, they will probably join me. You are a Catholic. Soria, will you join my empire? No, because you're not my digital leader. Okay. Well, when you don't want to, I can't make you do it. Um, my son, are you decadent? No. Do you want land? Yes. Grand land title. Shaden of Chituba. Well, it, I should slowly uh, lose now some decadence. But we'll actually see if that happens. Uh, my my uh, Grand Vizier is trying to get a claim in here. Will you join me? No. Then there are other methods of you joining me. At this time I'm just going to raise my own soldiers and my own retinue. He has a big army. Join up down here, I mean. Because going straight for his face isn't smart. I some some council spy master. I don't have a spy master, and he's a uh, spy master. I need him to like me. Go study technology. I don't scheme or do things like that. Just go study technology. The um, Byzantine Empire is kind of growing, which is surprising to me. Okay, now go and fight that guy. Maybe I'll just die or something. That might just happen, you never know. But probably not. Please gain good trades, my son. I do need you to do that because I'm going to become you after a while. Your son, my son, died murdered by this guy. With, ah, he died in war. Quite an honorable death. If that did happen, I don't know. Kingdom of Portugal. Not going to parade that. Thank you, but no thank you. Is my de jour thing still happening? Yes, actually. 40 years have been done here. One year has been done here. Three years and 18. So this will kind of become that for a while. So we'll actually see what's going to happen, but as you can probably tell, I'm not. This is not just going to end well for the other factions inside of Iberia, especially now when I'll get um, a cross right here, where I can take uh, these Christian lands. And the holy wars are awesome because you can just conquer everything in two f swoops. I'm so sorry, Asturian, Asturias, or whatever you're called. I don't know why you use that name. How and why, but anywho. We're still going to just wait. Actually, besieging apparently does uh, remove you, uh, remove some decadence. So I'm doing that. Yep, do it, do it, do it. You should do it. Oh, I'll be safe. Freaking. Done. 100%. So I'm going to end this war right now. Peace and for demands. Done. Actually, holy wars are awesome because. Leon. There are three wars I can declare, but this is the one I am going to declare. Not right now, I mean, because I have to replenish a little bit of my troops. But when the right time comes, do that. And now my retinue is a thousand strong. Sometimes, uh, dynamic society ministry because of the identity of the people of France and Malaga are now finding themselves. Andalusian. There's a Bedouin for some reason here, but now it's still an illusion. As you can see, they're changing very fast to my culture, which is great because I'll have less, um, less people declaring war on me. 
there are some people who still go with the gothic and there is this province which is Swabi still don't know what kind of Swabi Central Germanic Swabi is Central Germanic and we have Central Germanic things here wow well if you actually read up history you will know that um, you will know that uh, the Visigoths are from like right here from uh, the Danube and then they came here so it's not weird but just seems like it right now okay let's go and wreck some shit And I'm actually 12,000 soldiers. I'm actually going to call my allies in. Which now is an emperor. I'm calling an emperor into this war. Um, because sometimes a lot of Christians might join this war. I don't want Christians just trying to kill me all the time. Because I will join, of course I will join. Especially when it's a holy war. Because losing a holy war is... 10 times worse than you uh, losing just a normal war because it actually removes some moral authority which I don't like yep you hate me I know that thank you so I might just leave it at medium uh, my uh, crown authority and not move it any more than that because moving it more just means that I'll have to uh, I'll have to manage my vassals even more than that. They'll probably hate me. While my vassal limit is 11 out of 28. So, um, it's fine right now. Is this guy dead yet? Lighten him. Let's go straight for his capital, a wise choice. Yes, this guy just joined him against me. I will meet right here and actually just at assault him if he let us. Okay, now we're the leader of this, probably. Yep. That's how it works, you just have to move a slight inch. Wow, these places are so small. And have, I mean, a small garrison. Small place, what? Um, let's go up here. Betrothal. Yes, go marry him, you lunatic. Her, her uh, wife is ambitious, but she married a lunatic. What were you thinking? 200... 600... I'm actually using other people's... Uh, Essex. Essex has come all the way down here to help him. Why? Go conquer German lands. I mean, uh, North lands. Offers peace and force peace. Now we're just going to set. Uh, we're just going to set them down from this, so that my levy doesn't. I can't deserve that. What is it? The kingdom? Oh, the duchy. Give these out. And. Actually, my son is a lunatic, though he is not decadent, which is freaking surprising. Grand Land, the Shakedown of Austro-Rida. And I have one more son who is not uh, decadent. This one is decadent. So, no sons that are not decadent yet. My mother, my sister died, my half sister, so that's why I've lost, the, uh, lost their alliance with this guy, but it doesn't matter now. And I'm just going to find a courtier. My religion, my culture, yes, no, my court. This guy is 35. Yep, let's give land to you. Antrosga, whatever that's called. You will give it to who? Make sense, motherfucker. You are the same? No, you're not. Why would you? This guy hasn't died yet. <laughs> nope. Not giving me that satisfaction. <clears throat> now 
Now he's a duke. That's surprising. Though not very because he does have a lot of land. So of course he'll become a duke. He'll try to at least. Uh, wonderful. More science. Um, we're going to go siege equipment. Because it's better because as you can see I'm almost done with this whole campaign. There are only some small factions that are slowly trying to beat me but <laughs> as you can see that just I did. I'm not just going to give up that easily. Frankia yeah, is still staying strong, which is surprising for the time frame we're talking about. My efforts are appreciated at least. Uh, whatever. Sure. Give him. So I can take Galicia, full, the whole Galicia in one war. Civilized peasants, Almeria becomes Andalusian. So, yep. We've created a base right here, and slowly even my uh, my um, my uh, I mean my vassals will turn Andalusian too. So that's a plus. So you won't join me. I should just conquer him before I go conquer them up there. So my. Uh, vassals, but actually they're fully replenished. Doesn't really matter. Build, uh, upgrade my chassab there. I've, uh, I haven't upgraded anything for a long time because I'm uh, actually just my money has been going to retinue and shit like that. And let's go up here. There is no right flank. What are you doing? Trying to run from me. What are you doing, you motherfucker? I'm um, actually. Let's see how the duchies work here. So th there's this duchy up here, Beja, and then this duchy up here. So I'm actually not going to give anything. I might give it to this guy, but he's already very strong. Um, he's already very strong. So. Just giving more fuel to that fire isn't the best of ideas. This is my son, right? Grand land title, uh, Emirate of Asturia, Asturias, whatever it's called. Oh my god. Now comes the death part of my character. Look at my sons. Look at my sons. It, two of them are imprisoned. Three of them are dead, and one of them has left my my court and went here. Freaking massacre! Um, my courtier with some other person somewhere. It's a freaking disgrace. Reject diplomatically. This guy is the Duke of Porto, but how much land do you really have? Only one province, right? <laughs> wow. Great for you, dude. Now I do control a... I do control a... Holy... A holy... Site. Which does probably give me something. Some kind of piety or something. Does it? Ashara piety from... Buildings, technology, nope. Doesn't. Nothing useful. Title lost in succession. Vilia. I actually I don't know how I got that. W what did I get? This. Oh. It's a barony. I don't need baronies. I'm a sultan. Wonderful. Okay, continue. So I am uh, seven down out of uh, my thirty dem decadence, so that's great. You should kindly fall. So I'm actually going to play for eight more minutes of Crusader Kings, and I'll start playing some Europa Universalis. Offer peace and force demands. 
Is your claim on that? Is your claim on this? Ah, oh, he's at war right now. So this guy is in a, now has joined my kingdom. So I'm not going to do anything with him. Mohammedan. Okay. Weird. I thought they would. They might be. Uh, connected with the, s the prophet but the prophet Muhammad I mean but apparently not I think uh, the these guys the Abbasids are somehow connected you can go th if you go back enough with these fathers you will go to his to the Sultan or something to Muhammad or something I mean I don't know how but apparently uh, Sure, whatever. If it's for the good of all, I'll do it. Okay. So let's go at in war with Galicia. And remove these Christians forever from this land. Everybody meet up here. 15,000 troops. Uh, no chance on beating me. Actually, going to war with Francia is crazy. Because they've got like... What? Oh, 10,000 troops. I can beat that. <laughs> but it's a lot of land and you get hemmed down. Because they, they always get more troops, more troops. And especially if I do declare a holy war, their retinue will grow. Uh, their, yep, their retinue will grow because they'll be fighting... Uh, yeah, an infidel and a foreign force because I'm a foreigner so double the oh my god the auto these autosaves scare me double the I just lost 3000 troops traveling through these mountains and then he just moves his army here for no apparent reason Yep, he doesn't have a chance, doesn't stand a chance. Very fast, I'm just going, I'm just going to do this because it's actually pretty much easier and I'm just not killing only my army, I'm killing my vassal's armies so that the kingdom does get a little bit more stable because they'll know that they can't really revolt against me. They are, Allah be praised, the people of Valladolid have embraced the Sunni faith. Go straight here. Oh my god, I hate how Christians from all around the world just join for their protection. For no reason at all. Yeah, that war was actually easier than the last one. For some reason. Um, so I'm just going to give up this land. The Jiza tax. Because they're not Muslims. Uh, find. Search the salts. Can I grant you just land from here? Who are you? Uh, of Corfina. And you of Santiago. Okay, you do have a son. How does that leave me out of this equation? And now I'll create the Duchy of Galicia and you'll be the Duke of it. Emirate of Galicia. I should give up more duchies because my, uh, my uh, vassals will hate me more, but not on this episode because I'm going to end it here. So, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe like and comment uh, there's uh, on my bio on twitch there's my channel my youtube channel viking so if you'd like to see more videos or follow this uh this run please go and check that out um i'm actually going to continue with some europa universalis now so if you are up to that please uh, continue watching